Hello there folks, it is TIJ Gaming and welcome to a brand new video. Today it is time for part 36 of season 4 of the Neil Robertson Pro Career on Snooker 19. And today we play against the Maverick in the last 16 of the English Open, the first home nation series event of the year. That of course is the ranked 16th player, Stephen Maguire, a player who we've played against 7 times in this series and have got 100% record against, so I guess... It wouldn't do no harm for that not to break today and to make it 8-0. But this is actually the furthest stage we've got to in the English Open, believe it or not. We got to the last 32 in Season 1, went out to Yan Bing Tao. In Season 2, we got to the last 64 and got knocked out by Alan McManus. I know we were playing badly. Season 3, we got knocked out by Mark Joyce in the last 64. And of course, last time out this season, we got to the last 64. We beat Alan McManus 3-0. We beat Nopon Saingam in the last 32, 4-0. And we've got a good record against this man, Stephen Maguire. That doesn't necessarily mean anything in this match. Every match is different. But I'm fairly confident we can get through this one and get Thank to the quarterfinal. The first frame. Neil Robertson to break. I hope your eyes, guys are all good. Coming off the back of Yan Bing Town becoming a major event winner. How about that one? Fair to say, nobody expected that. I expected him to put a good fight up against Higgins, of course, but 10-5, 10-6 was my expectation. Very good play from Yan Bing Tao. Not such good play from Steve Maguire there. He's not left hell of a lot on, but the safety certainly went wrong. And it's the first chance of the day. Good pot. Needs to play with some top spins to try and get out of there. And try and get a bit of fortune to get position. That's just gone long enough so that we can play the, the blue into the corner pocket. It's pretty much perfect, actually. Without intending to be. And with the black ball out of position, we're probably going to gonna have to play the blue a few times here. I think the pink's in play though, the pink should go, so that might be something to look at. Playing straight for the blue also means you're straight for the pink, you've got a double benefit there. And pink A is more points, I'd also argue the position is a little bit better from that. Excellent shot. He really looks in fine form at the moment. Thirteen. Problem I didn't consider is that the pink goes on the black spot, but then we are used to playing from the black black spot already, so no it. harm there. 14. Wouldn't be a bad start to win this frame in one visit. It's fair to say we weren't at our best against Nopon, but it didn't matter. We played well enough to beat him. We played much better than our opponent did. 20. He had a shocker. I did say something on Reddit the other day, which amused me. About this game, Snooker 19. Because there's a, there's a contingent in this community that seems to think the game's broken. It's terrible. The AI are terrible. You win everything. blah de blah de blah So, I'll refer them back to that match against Mark Williams we played. Because, uh, I know we didn't play brilliantly. But even so, every chance that Willow got, he took. Very well played. 27. I know we're not the best player at this game, but I'd love to see the day where we're winning to every tournament at a canter. Yes, we get opportunities, but in every snooker match there's opportunities in real life. Not telling me every player, when they get in, get a century every time. We were watching the Masters last week. 16 of the best snooker players in the world. Let's just look at some of the mistakes that were made there. It's only natural. I think some people expect too much. But this difficulty level is certainly one I'm enjoying. Yes, the game probably isn't as good. Well, it depends how you look at it. But in some aspects, the game has gone backwards, in my opinion. Since release. For a few elements. Like the AI, I do agree them play some strange shots at times. But there are so many bits and pieces that are better than what it was when it came out of the game. I was watching um, 
really impressive queuing. Captain Goodspeed's first impressions video the other day. We were having a chat about Snooker 19, yeah, and you can just see how much the game's improved since it was released. 41. Got to play somewhat of an aggressive shot here to try and open something up. Looking to play this with a lot of power. Can imagine we'll open up an opportunity. Maybe not though. Let's see. As Neil Fold says, we'd be unlucky not to be on anything. And the truth be told, I don't think we are. I don't think we're on anything at all. Nothing that I particularly fancy anyway. Would it be so unwise to put this on the black cushion? I want to get this cue ball close to the cushion. I think we just about feathered the red. It was thin. Neil Robertson. Yep, no problem there. And there's no pot on. That's not a bad safety. A little bit unlucky for Maguire, actually. A little bit further over. And he'd have been like quitting. To get the cue ball tight on the cushion here. That one's gone a bit wrong. I think the red will pot. I don't think the black, the uh, pink ball, Not what gets in the way. That's a poor shot. Needs to play that a bit thicker, to be honest, to get the cover from the other balls. And maybe we're not so much pace. He's aiming for the left corner here. Good pot. Where's the cue ball? It's okay, but is that end of break already? There's nothing easy on here. Just wants to get the pot, I think, and he's played the safety, but he's gone oh, too hard on that. But as you can see, even we side, this red doesn't quite snip in. So I don't think it does. It does, you know, it does. But for the positional play we're going to get off this, for the position we're going to get, there's absolutely no point. Problem is, how do you play safe from here? The school of thought that saying going going in off here isn't all that bad. That though is about as unlucky as you can be, coming off the jaw. Because if we'd have just played that and probably got behind the blue, we'd have been safe as houses. How unlucky can you get? Again, going off, One. don't come off the jaw, and we're, we're all right. But it is what it is. It's Maguire's chance now. If you don't get it done in a one visit, then you can have this problem. Seven. Good like for like representation of Stephen Maguire. Well, no surprises. Certainly better than the model of um, Neil Robertson in game. Good shot on the blue. What a wonderful pot. Twelve. Thirteen. All round the table, it's not quite worked, unfortunately. Went all round the table, but he hit the brown, and that really didn't help. Stephen Maguire. And he's made a few too many collisions on the way back up, and there's a half chance here. That oh, plays with pace, to try and avoid the pink. And what a shot that is! That's great cubal control, excellent position. Mixture of safety and potting ability, but again, we're on a colour. And this should be a good chance now to go and win the opening frame. Well, I'm not surprised he's taking on the long pot here. Great queuing. Six. A little bit of a missed opportunity there for Maguire, but it was more unfortunate than anything, I think. Lost the cue ball a tad there. Seven. It's a bit of a boo-boo, that, because the pink ball doesn't pass the black. And, of course, vice versa. Wow, that was way off. Goodness me, that was awful. I was going for that brown to the middle pocket. And that was a, well, opportunistic shot at best, and we only needed the one red, and it would have been frame over. One. A bit of a comeback on here for Maguire for the second time of asking. I'm not 
not sure what happened there. But that was a bad shot. Poor result. It's a bad shot, but he's got away with that. But it is a decent opportunity to get him snookered here. Just feather off this red. No pace, really. And you're pretty much covered. Can he see the red? We've come right back up to the bulk. We've done exactly what we want, need to do. Yep, nicely done. And we've got the snooker. He's out of it. What's his look like? It's not too bad. Brilliantly played. How does our look sit? Oh, that is unfortunate. Well, tried to get that about in the middle of the table. And you say it's a shocker. It's the brown that's slowed the red ball down. So, this pot into the right corner. And he's potted it. No issues there. One. I feel like we might have given away this frame, but we give Maguire a free chance at it. Not our best performance. Got off to a good start, but just stuttered a bit and never really got it finished. But this isn't all over because the green's now off its spot. That just makes this more complicated. He's got to come round the table more, but he's got a good angle on this. He's played a clever shot. But I can't see him giving this up now. 10, 14, 19... Just the black needed, and Maguire wins the first frame. You have to say we wouldn't say chucked it away, but we gave him more than a chance, and that wasn't our best form. Thank you. The second frame, Stephen Maguire to break. That's not the best break off though. Is he going to get fortunate? Had a kiss on the red, and he's not quite going to get that fortune. He very nearly did, but an aggressive break off to say the very least. This with a lot of power. It's not going to be one of those days, is it? It can't be one of those days. It's all right, though. Panic over. Not an easy one, but a half chance. Well, there's something going wrong here. A little bit like Williams, you know, we'd pop these all the time. Neil Robertson, one. But there's something going wrong, but we have been very fortunate there. Really fortunate. This isn't a bad position for the cue ball to be in. Oh, this doesn't look good. No, he's mucked that one up. But I think he's got away with it. I think he has. Albeit for a very slight chance here, which I do fancy taking on. He's looking at this red. Got the line. Oh, so close, but he's missed it. That'll annoy him. Those middle pockets are so narrow. One. Such a tight line you've got to get into. It was worth the risk because this is now a frame winning opportunity for whoever got in. And it is Maguire. And I think we're quite a way off our Four. previous forms, be, to be blunt. There's something not he's quite not going right in our decision making or. Just our nice play shot. seems a bit off. Excellent queuing. Ten. It was against Nopon, but Nopon was absolutely terrible, so I think anybody would have beaten Nopon. Eleven. Thirteen. Good shot Fourteen. there. I'm to move the cue ball a lot here. 21.
22. I can't see any problems here. Played it well. 29. Thirty-seven. Maguire looking pretty good here to go and win this in one visit. Forty-three. Can all go wrong though, as we saw in the last frame. We got fairly close, played a few suspect shots, and Maguire came back well and won the frame. Doesn't want to ever hit this. Fifty one. Fifty two. So he leads by fifty six points. There are five reds left on the table. Make that four now. So there's fifty nine points on the table. He just needs the colour. Is he going to dare go for the black at that angle? A braver man than me if he does. He goes for the pink. Just the pink need. It looks pretty good. 64. And it looks like Maguire is going to go 2-0 up. But he only plays a safety there. Very interesting. Opts for safety over pot. But personally, Excellent if we safety. played a safety, I couldn't see us not leaving this on. And I'll tell you what, I think we've played this too soft. Oh, it's just about dropped in. Just about dropped in. Oh, what a shot. Now, we have to really play the black to make this worthwhile, and we can get on the black. We do need a snooker at this point. Need to work Excellent. out the totals, really. Eight. So, we are 55 behind. 51 left on the table. No point doing what the AI do and trying to get a snooker on the colour. We snookered him on the two um, on the one side of the table. Just wants to get safe first and foremost. It's half a chance, but the chance oh no, he can see this. Well, poor shot. I think we'll have a go at. Probably getting a few of these because obviously it's easier to snooker your opponent on one ball than on um, three. Narrow angle here for the black. That's why we have to get this right. One. That'll do. Now the question after this black is how on earth do we snooker him on the red? Be positioned for the black. Sometimes no. we let's see. You can always opt to snooker him on a colour. There is that to it. Sixteen. We haven't got much to lose. Let's see what happens. Hit and hope. Hit the red first and foremost. I think we missed it. That might be a very yeah. That might foul. be the end of the frame. We now need two snookers, but we'll play on. Paul Robertson, sixteen. Stephen Maguire, four. This is a tricky safety. Ooh, kicked on the red. Got a kick on it. But as the pink got him snookered. Can he see That's the red? No, he can't. So we have got him inadvertently snookered. You can see the red. I think we get this potted. He's tempted by this red. I do. No point going for it if we don't get on the black next time. 
What a fabulous pop that is. And we're on the black. One. We do need two snookers. And I can't really see us getting them. But let's see how we go. It's a good it's a potential chance this. Eight. This is an easy. I'm not trying to pot it, mate. Oh, I think he's just about sees this. Neil Robertson, eight. And if he pots this, we'll concede the frame. Yeah, he's potted it. Well, we gave a valiant effort there. We're two 0 down though, which uh, isn't a worrying. Well, it is. It's a worrying start for us. We're not a fan of the English Open, and well, we look set to continue that. But equally, to lose our hundred percent record against Maverick Maguire. So this, in my opinion, is probably a must-win frame. You, know, you, this, you saw the pressure we were under against Willow. There's no, don't need to play anything fancy there. Get it back up to bulk. Excellent safety shot. Oh boy, thank you. Maguire having the same idea, not really giving much away. Which is understandable. The safety battle continues. Just feather off the red, that'll do. Might have a good line this. Or oh, has it just about gone too far? I think it might have done. Shame. Had a really good line, that did. Oh, well, 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 Maguire. That didn't have such a good line now, did it? Safety and aiming to get the cue ball tight against the cushion. He's not snooker, but it's awkward to cue from this, and he's missed them. Give him another crack at that. I very much doubt we're going to get a free misses rule, but let's well, see. That's a loose shot. Foul and a miss. Neil Robertson, four. Free ball. Force him to take that again. Here. I think he's going to miss them again at that again. angle. Yep, he is. Wow. Foul and a miss. Neil Robertson. Okay, the free misses rule don't come into effect. He can't see a full ball. He's hit them this time, but it's a valuable eight points for us. Just going to try a bit of a half chance here. Half chance. See how we end up. And it's a good decision. It's a cracking shot. And, the cue ball finished very nicely. and a long blue with some topspin. We can get into them. But even more tempting is the snooker behind the yellow. I think in this position, it'd be unwise not to play the, the roll up. You've got to get the roll up right though. And that was a bit of a waste of time that. Not often you say though, you get an instant opportunity out of that. Lots of power on this shot. Oh, that's right out of the top drawer. We've opened a few reds up and we're pretty much in the same position again with the blue, albeit not so straight and not such a good pot, but even so. One. We're in a potting position for it. The long pot's on, and he's going for it. And this needs to be, for me, a frame winning break. You know, it doesn't give us any uncertainness. No uncertainty was the word I was going for, not uncertainness. No uncertainty that we're going to win it. Let's get this done in one visit, and then we can finally start to play well. Because as I said, if we don't do it this frame, it's a long way back. Oh, we've nice hit the black. 
Mm, Max thing's a bit more awkward now, that does. Don't really want to take a chance, so blue it is. He's an expert long potter, and he's taking this on. Always go with a shot, you know. What a pop that is. We've proven that in the past when we've tried to go for weird and wacky shots and they haven't worked. Go with what you know. It's a good pop. Position on the black a little bit easier from this side. 21. And with any luck, we might be able to sneak in behind the red on the cushion. Seems to be a good shot though, this. Looking to drop this in gently. We've got the position. And we've got the pot. That was a good shot, that. Just wants this pot Shouldn't think we'd need too much pace on this. That will do. That will do just fine. I pop the black. Going to the reds. Not too much pace. The split looks good to me. And it's a decent split. I wasn't all that confident at the pot, and you can understand that after. 36. Um previous events but no happy with that my initial thought after I hit um, well the right stick to play that shot was oh my god we're going to go in off fortunately though we didn't and this is a good chance now to do what we're good at and what really any player that wants to get into the top 16 has we to do and that's win frames so when they have the opportunity to do so on. Oh, that doesn't come back by on, on the back huge. side. And uh, we lose this frame, but uh, hopefully it's okay. It's as good as a chance you'll get. 43. Well, no surprises here with the long pot attempt. Tremendous shot. 48. 49. Not playing too quickly, but getting some pace just to Long pot. Right up his street. make our game a bit more fluent. And that's the best way we play, I think. Play quickly. Don't take too much time thinking about your shots. Because usually when we play like this, we play well, which means that we've got a good instinct for things. Just some of the awkward video. shots that can 55. take a bit more time to think about. As Neil Fold says, just and the black needed. Goes. We've got it. And, and barring snookers, we're back in the game at 2-1. Not the best split. He'll be disappointed with that. Unfortunate on position there. 63. Really was. Try a half chance though on the green. Got nothing to lose. Green on. Ooh, just overcut cut it slightly. That was definitely compensating for our shot we played earlier on the yellow and missed by a mile. Neil Robertson. 63. Good to get that as a rule of thumb though, and uh, we're comfortable Neil enough. Neil Good break of 60 odd there. Definitely the, the best we've played. played. All day, and we're back in it. We cut the deficit down Thank to one. Be good to go and win frame number four, and then it's very much just a best of three. Not a bad, not a bad chance at the start of frame number four. Impressive opening red. One. Overscrewed that one slightly, overhit. So we do play up for our best friend. It is my favourite colour, blue. Funnily enough, I think it's definitely our favourite. Snooker colour. Not sure Have we just come there. far enough That's for the red? Shot. No, we haven't. Well, as Neil Fold says, I think it was Neil. Poor shot all round, really. Not a bad safety from there, though. I'll take that. Neil Robertson, six. Got a few points on the board. You haven't always got to play um, and win the frame.
Let's He's attempting to get the white tight on the big cushion. skill in snooker and takes a lot of bottle actually being able to turn down an opportunity because the safety is the best option. It's all about the risk and reward argument. I think in the past we've took on too many opportunities and uh, fell flat on the floor. Tricky shot here. Ooh, unlucky. But again, it's the risk versus reward idea, idea there. Would have been a good chance after that. We didn't play at a stupid pace. We might have left a, a few reds. Which, yes, Maguire can develop into a chance. But if you never play a positive shot, you'd... Well, you'd um, be having stupid length matches. You've got to play some... Aggressive shots, but this will be a good shot for Maguire. He's going to go into the reds. Not necessarily as much as I was expecting, but it's good enough to split a few. And it sometimes is probably better to split one or two reds rather than having all over the table. You could see in the last frame we're having to move the cue ball around a bit to make sure we got into position for a red and didn't interfere with position for another one. But I thought he was going to miss that, you know. Unless he plays a shot which goes into the middle pocket, which he doesn't. I just had a hunch about that. Apply a bit thicker off this so it comes back towards the middle of the table. That's it, lovely. Didn't fancy it into the middle pocket. We applied a good safety. Oh, that's not well, he's missed them all. He's missed everything, Following in miss. fact. Neil Robertson. Very uh, lucky, you have to say, to come all around the table. He's going to do it again. He's going to do it again. And it is very much three fouls and, three fouls and a miss, and it's frame over. Surely he'll hit them this time. I have to warn you, if you fail to hit a ball on this stroke, the frame will be awarded to your opponent. Yeah, he's hit the red. Good shot. Tell you what, though, did get the ticker going a bit there, thinking, ooh, have we got a chance? Green off its spot. Pretty much forming a perfect triangle, albeit not quite angles wise. McManus wouldn't be proud. Well, this is building up to be a really interesting test of their safety skills. Applied a bit more aggressive there, need a bit of help from the bulk colour. And we haven't got it, unfortunately. He just wants to ensure he gets this but he's just playing safe. Cushion. With the shot. Exactly the sort of shot that you have to give kudos to a player for. Could play safe, He's but to decide not to. to. Cushion, yeah? Tell you what, we're playing some stupid shots here, though. How many chances do you want, Maguire? Just play it thin and get it safe rather than all these fancy pants, thicker shots and moving the balls around more. This is not easy. He'll pot it at that pace, though. One. Black won't go, so he's going to have to play a bulk colour. That's a tremendous nice pot on the brown, though. Excellent pot. That any better. Five. Six. Unlucky there. Again, you know, Even when you're white. going for those shots, Sometimes you can be left having an issue, but uh, just going to nestle into the reds here. Touching ball. Oh. That was a stupid shot. There's a few unnecessary to points we're giving away. Foul and a miss. Stephen Maguire, four. A lot of safety this frame. Neither player really getting going. He's playing the safety shot here. Ho 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 ho. 
very nearly cannon the blue in then. Intriguing safety battle. This might be a chance though. Can we see the red? Not quite. So we know we've got to get this safe ourselves. It's a good line. It's a good line, but it's not going to have the length. It isn't going to have the length. The only thing that is a bit of solace, he's got to play with top spin for this. And he's just playing a safety shot. It's a good shot, that. Let's play with side here. We're forced into it. It's not a bad shot. There we hit the red, but ultimately we've left it on. That might just be the end of that well, safety well, battle. Tough shot, but he could have played it better. Pace is key. I'm just going to drop this what? in, no surprise. Now, does he take the risk and play the pink here? Because he's going to have to play this at some pace to get on a red. Could be a frame winning opportunity. He is. He's gone for the pink. He's potted it, but oh, that's terribly unlucky. That is really unlucky. Just hit the one red, and he's stuck on it. Just stuck to the red. Move that red. That's it. That's fine. Unless he wants to take something on really daring. Just playing up to them, eh? It's bold. That's a poor shot, really. And there is a chance here. Touching ball. Just wants to sink this into the left corner pocket. Oh, it's not there. And we've got a really unfortunate kick onto the other red. That's annoying. Not quite gone right for us in this frame so far. Real scrappy one. You have to say, this is the chance for Maguire. But would you, Adam and Eve, it? what pressure can do to a player Needs to take this chance. is extraordinary. And that is going to surely be our kick up the back size to say, on. come on, we can do better than this. Well, it goes. Half a chance here. That's just magnificent. Wants to play the, the heavy shot, if you like, to get to the centre pocket, because where the pink goes could have caused an issue. And we're obviously probably going to be queuing up to play a, a bulk red here after this so be sensible to make this as straight as possible so our queuing is decent black looks pretty good opportunity though here and that'll queue up nicely for one of these bulk reds black's there this is a good opportunity so we can make of it on the green 16 he's on the green he's on the green not quite sure what green you're on about there fault we have overdone this just slightly which gives me a bit of a headache positionally Going for the right center if we go for the yellow here, pot it, which we have. Oh, we've hit the pink. We've hit the pink and we've gone in off. That just sums up how unfortunate we've been in this frame. Sure, we got out of position, but the aim was to come back up to the bulk cushion so we could get onto the red. But that's all he wants to do. Maguire, get a few points on the board. Maguire. He's not played a bad shot there, you know. Watch this go to pot. 
Yeah, it's going to come back, but uh, not enough. Not enough. We got the snooker. That's what he was going for, and he's played it well. And he's only hit that thin. So this has been a very scrappy frame. Both players having Looks plenty like of chances. The right and hopefully this is the one where we can take the chance. But and in it goes. I think here it's just going to be a safety and a very good chance to play a snooker. Yep, we've got him. Well, he's got it. Great shot. And of course, this can open up the reds if he goes for it in such a manner. And there you go. I mean, pick which one you want. Not what he intended at all. He'll be annoyed with that. Maguire making the biggest howler of the frame. Nicely on. Very much paying off for us to go for the safety rather than going for something ambitious ourselves. Position looks good for a colour. Well, I've had to run out of the room mid-frame. I apologise to all the fans. Um, there was a shepherd's pie on the table for me to eat, so it'd be very rude for me not to. Well, I've had my dinner. I've had another drink. And hopefully, we should be all revved up now to go and win this match. And it looks like... We can clear these colours. I'm a bit conscious about go. the brown. But if we can clear these colours, we'll level it up and we'll be into a best of three scenario. Effectively, first to two. I think we can cover this brown just by going to the cushion. That's a bit sloppy. He's lost position here. Apparently he's lost position. I don't think he has. That's exactly what I was going for. Tough pot. We know what a prolific long potter he is, so I'd assume he'd take this on. Looks okay to me, though. <clears throat> well, he's lost position, apparently. So much for that. I only need the blue. This is an easy, though. This is blue. But it's there. And a good clearance this should be now, because we should be able to get pink and black. That should be it. No real way for his opponent to win the frame now. That's hit strike the blue, uh, the pink quite hard to get position on the black. Maybe could have done with a bit more top spin, but oh well, it's not perfect. Doesn't matter if we pop this or not, because we've won the frame. But it's there, right in the middle of the pocket, and a good clearance there. And we leveled the game up, and, <clears throat> and it's probably the biggest fight we've had against Maguire. We're not playing at our best, but uh, we're still well, scraping no along at two each. This is close. Really close. Best of three though now. Yes, this is really Win close. two and we're through to the, to the next round. We win only one out of these three and we're saying goodbye to the English Open at the last 16, which wouldn't be a terrible safety, thing. But um, no, it'd be nice to go on a good run in this event. Never done it. And of course, this will be the last time we have an opportunity to do so with the this series coming to a close at the end of season four. So it'd be nice to make our mark at least on this event. One. This with plenty of power. We're doing it the old-fashioned way Good with this break. Really Slam the reds open right and see what we can do. Eight. It's like a pretty good opportunity from the outset. Positioned and this, of course, will be the opportunity to go ahead for the first time today. Don't want to get a nosebleed too quickly, though, and get all excited. <clears throat> Got to get there first. Sixteen. 
have to play with a little bit of side to avoid the red. And to be fair, we didn't, but we get away with it. We're just about on the black. It's okay. Oh, we did not want to hit the red. We did not want to hit the red. Mm, that limits our chances now. He just wants this to drop gently into the pocket. Oh, come on! No, not this time. <sighs> Why did I Close play that? A miss, Such a narrow angle. Neil Robertson, <sighs> Christ's sake. That was a so really bad shot to play. To the, right the table at our mercy in effect, but Stephen Maguire One or two mistakes <clears> has missed the opening to red. He needs to regain his focus here. And, uh, well, we'll take that. After what I thought was going to be a frame-winning miss, we get our second opportunity pretty quickly to avenge ourselves. This black should pass. Wow. Yep, it does, no problem. Eight. Played that with less power than I'd have liked to, just to err on the side of caution. Nine. And with the blue and pink out of the out of the race, it makes things a bit more complicated. Relatively easy. We've under hit this, which makes it a bit of an issue, but we've got a secondary shot we can go for here. I was going for the red we're close to up into the green pocket, but no bother. You can play this and get on the blue slash pink. He's playing for the right corner here. That's a great pot. Great technique, superb queuing. Get the pink back on its spot, shall we? Makes things a little bit easier. Brings two balls out into the open, the pink and the blue. Looking to play this softly. Twenty-four. Twenty-nine. Pace is key. Get up quickly there, Robbo does. I wish I had his athleticism. He's lining this one up to the middle pocket. Nicely onto a red. 36. Well, the seven reds left on the table. We do lead by 61. Sixty six after this blue and sixty seven after the red. And that'll leave us five reds left on the table. So after the red, which I didn't realise it got so much of an angle on it. After the red He's aiming to sink this into the just the right colour needed. An and absolutely bang on there. <clears throat> right on top of we don't often get those right. wrong. 43. Good shot there. So just the colour needed. And for the first time, and the most crucial time you have to say, bar the last frame just to win the, the match. Required. Most crucial time yet, and we lead, barring snookers of course, and that means by no three frames to two. For his 48. Forty nine. Fifty six. How's our look? <clears throat> Not terrible. Fifty seven. It's like that. 
Very tricky shot coming up. And we'll keep Maguire in his chair just so he can stew over this. Knowing he had is. an opportunity or two this frame. If we are to get through to the quarterfinal, we need to <clears throat> cut that out of our game. Because as we saw at the European Masters, was it? Was it the European Masters? It was. Um, against Willow in the quarters. If we give him a chance, he'd take it. Can't say the same with Maguire so far today. Seventy. Challenging pot along the cushion here. Seventy-one. How do we get back on this now? Not an easy one, but a half chance. I'll be more impressed if we get position here, <clears throat> which we've not done a bad job at, but this is going to be an incredibly tough pot down the cushion. Absolutely nothing to lose, though, here. Tricky pot along the cushion here. Doesn't look bad, you know. It doesn't look bad. Oh, what a pot that is. 75. What a pot. Let's see if we can go and make a ton now. Just to prove Nicely positioned for the yellow here. we're not going to be a slouch. I was listening to a really good interview yesterday lunchtime. A uh, real emotional now. interview with Mark Selby. About his playing style and how 82. the reason he plays like that is because he had to grind for everything in his life. He's not had an easy life. Had a tough upbringing, lost his dad young. <clears throat> and 85. if he's going to lose to an opponent then fair enough if they play well enough. They have to play well enough to beat him. And that's why he works for every point. Of course, this is a game. You might say I'm exaggerating. and It's it's not the same at all. But 89. still a competitive environment, whether it's against an AI or against Pace. Ronnie O'Sullivan Very himself. Ninety-four. And just the pink needed for this first century of this match. To pop this into the left corner pocket. And it's there. Great shot. And this should now be a clearance, albeit not a full clearance, of course, but a clearance of what was left on the table of 107. And what a way to take the lead for the first time in the match. <clears throat> Maguire not getting a single pot in that frame. He needs to win this one and the next. So pressure's on him. If he does win this one... We're into a decider, ladies and gents. Be interested to see what our stats are like in deciders. I don't think they're very good, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. <clears throat> oh, he's got that one wrong. He's got that one wrong. Been a bit fortunate, though, because... Um, the blacks off its spot means that these reds are going to be harder to open up should we wish to do so. He's an expert long potter and he's taking Let's just get some points on the board first. Well, an excellent pot. Six. The point of this is, is to play a big screw back shot. Play the long pot on the black. Stun through for the red on the cushion. Then come back for the black. It's ambitious, but let's see how we get on. This is really tricky. So the black's there. It's pretty good position on the red. He'll be happy with that. <clears throat> Come up a bit short, if anything. This is a tricky one along the cushion. So pop this off the cushion. I couldn't have done that much better if I tried. Bit straight, if anything. But after the black being up the other end of the table, to get it there within a few shots isn't bad at all. We should be rewarded by a good split here, but it doesn't work like that in snooker. But nevertheless, it's uh, a pretty decent snooker, a pretty decent split, sorry. And uh, as usual with these things, the first pot is going to be the most important. I'm not playing this with much power, but I'm fairly confident. 
Good shot. Excellent pot. Just look at that for a positional shot. Superb. It is a match winning opportunity, this. Don't want to get ahead of ourselves just yet, but I have to say, I think we've grown into this match. Really have. A delicate touch required here. Spidering that over the blue, that took some uh, technique. Got a few shot choices here. Go to the sense pocket, I think. Thank God for backspin, because this game would be oh so much harder if we had to play top spin. You'd learn to do it, I guess. Like anything in life, you have to adapt. But for those of you who have watched the series for a long time, you'll know I like my backspin. When you get in the groove, it's amazing how quick a break can go <clears throat> and how easy it can feel. 45. With this black, we've got a break of 52. Under hit that one. 52. So let's just focus on the pot here. Position comes naturally, to be fair, as a result. Well, he's taking it let's off. just make sure we get this in. Good pot. Brilliant. It's a so recovery shocks. We played a poor positional beforehand, but it's that. okay. Top shot. Fifty-three. He's playing for the right corner here. Tremendous shot. He's queuing extremely well here. Fifty-eight. Fifty-nine. So six reds on left on the table. 75 to play for. If we pot this, we'll be 66 ahead. So red and the colour will guarantee the victory. 66. After, you know, what seems to have been so far at least. A frame that's absolutely whizzed by. The red's there. Just five reds left now. So the colour, the blue, will secure it. Just the blue ball required here. And it's there. <clears throat> A really good comeback from us. I know it's not all over yet, so I don't want to jinx this particularly, but that's been a really good comeback from us in this match. 2-0 down, remember. Needed a win in the third frame. Got it, made it 2-1, brought it back to 2 each. And then we've had our two strongest frames yet. Be great to round this out of a century. Played with some side there, and we've got onto the red. Eighty. That's potential to be a pretty sizable break. I think a potential of one four one three nine on here. Eighty one. But at this point, you can be pretty certain this is a uh, game, set, and match. He's looking at the pot into the left middle. No problem there. 89. Oh, it's going to pull up short, isn't it? Yeah, it's neither here nor there, to be honest. 96. So... Oh, we can't get to that. That's unfortunate. So, I guess double attempt on this red to keep the frame alive. Oh, it's not going to be there. Ah, well, does it matter? Not really. Would have been nice for Pride, but I tell you what, at one point in the, that match, I didn't think we were going to get through, but some very good play from us towards the end there. Took a while longer than I expected, but a very enjoyable one nonetheless. And we beat Stephen Maguire from 2-0 down. By four frames to two to get into the last eight for the first time of the English Open. You can see that we beat him comprehensively in terms of points. Only 171 points for the Maverick. And 
really good day for us, particularly in the second half of the match. But the last eight, I feel, will be a different prospect. Kyron Wilson. Not a player I've played very often. So I think, effectively, we swapped ranking. Um, but he's a long way behind us now. You have to say, we would be the favourite to get to the last four. Maybe a favourable draw, you could argue. But it uh, be an interesting match. This one being a best of nine frames. So we'll come back um, on Friday for the first four. And then play the final five on Monday's episode. But it uh, should be a really enjoyable one. I'm looking forward to playing Kyron. A good player, good personality as well. If you enjoyed that, folks, make sure to leave a like down below. Leave your comments down below as well with your thoughts. And also remember to subscribe for regular Snooker 19 content on a Monday, Wednesday and a Friday at 6pm. That's it from me today. Thank you very much for your company, folks. I've been TIJ Gaming and I'll see you guys in the next video of mine. Goodbye for now.